Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Galaxy S3 smartphone. We're going to take a look at method 2 in backing up your smartphone. Now we're going to be using a titanium backup here. Now this application does require root access so there will be a link in the description and on the screen of how you can reach your Galaxy S3 smartphone. Now this application you can get from the Google Play Store. I think it costs about £4.50 here in the UK and in the States I think it's just so 6 bucks. But it's an absolutely wicked application uh, as is the Nandroid one as well. And just purely because you can absolutely back up everything on the device. You can back up all the applications that you added on or that came standard on the device as well. And you can also delete um, so, sort of bloatware that was on the device so anything like uh, Samsung uh, video hubs or book hubs or stuff like that anything that you don't want you can use this application to get rid of as well uh, but we're going to be taking a look at the backup feature in this today now as you can see on the screen there are options there for a Dropbox and Google Drive now those are awesome because you can once you've done the backup you can set it so that when you're connected to Wi-Fi it automatically syncs that backup with your Google Drive or your Dropbox so you've got another copy of the backup elsewhere not just on your phone which I think is awesome and it's really easy to set up now as I said you can get this from the App Store you can get a free version of this as well but the only difference between the free one and the paid version is when you're restoring from a backup you can only restore one application at a time whereas with a paid for version you can hit one button and it'll restore everything where if you're anything like me you'll have hundreds of apps so paid for version it is and I think £4.50 is not a lot really for what you're getting it's, it's I think a bargain so head over to the Play Store and grab yourself a bargain if we go into the main, um, so I'll just load that up again. That was the main interface as it is. You've got the three tabs along the top. You've got backup and restore and schedules that you want to automatically run. I don't have any schedules, I just do ad hoc backups every now and again. From the main screen, you can also go to menu and then you've got a rasp, raft of options there. But if you go to say preferences, you can enable Dropbox, Google Drive. All that kind of stuff set encryption on your backups as well also select where uh, the backup actually backs up to so you can you can select that where it is uh, for example if we go backup folder location it tells you it's on my SD card of the phone and it's called titanium backup that particular folder that's where it's going to store it to I'll just cancel out of that back to the main screen it's so easy to do backup just go to the backup tab and it'll back up absolutely everything in there so as I say all the applications including the data within those applications your texts your sort of contacts absolutely everything it will back up and all you need to do once you get here is see in the top right you've got a page with a tick next to it hit that and it gives you a bunch of options there and what you can do is as you can see it says verify backups at the top so once you've done a backup if you want to verify that it's all working okay you can go through those startup routines there or if you were just like me you've got sections there for backup sections there for restore you can move stuff around you can do all kinds of stuff you can uninstall apps that kind of stuff delete backups it's got a lot of maintenance routines on there that are really awesome to use so if we have a look at the backup section here just uh, that section here now it says first option is backup all your user apps that doesn't include the data backup all system data includes address book messages that kind of stuff and uh, not including apps obviously now what I tend to do most of the time is use backup all user apps and system data now because that that's the best thing it backs up absolutely everything at all so if we just do that now hit run and then it gives you a tick box of exactly what it's going to back up and it's got a tick next to absolutely everything so all you do there once you've done you've selected everything whatever you want to do if you want to deselect particular ones you can do so hit the tick in the corner and it off it goes now the only issue with this is it's not like an Android backup where it puts the applications exactly where they were on the screen if you were to restore them it just throws them all back into the app drawer and on your main screens it doesn't put them in any order that they were in before but it has all the the data that they contained within them so you, you may have to do some 
organizing again once you restore but if you're going to do one or two applications including the data I find this really really good so we'll just see how long this is going to take to do my entire phone including all the apps because it says that it's got 282 apps to back up Right, that's now completed. That took approximately 15 minutes to the, do the entire phone and all of the, the apps contained within it. And you can see under each app now, it gives a one backup and the time and data when it was done. So just to see how big this is, what we'll do is come out and go into my files and then it said it was in the SD card and then titanium backup, which is there. Whoops, there you go. I just want to see how big it is and then you can see all the system files for the backups that we did individually so just to see how big it is the backup took 752.1 megabytes in size which I think is pretty good really so what we'll do is just demo this for you quickly if I'm going to cut the rope it shouldn't take too long to load up at all to show you what levels are done inside of it so, right, so you can see these are, come on, go back to the first one, there we go. You can see all these are done inside. What I'm going to do is just remove, now you can either remove this in the normal way by going to settings applications and remove it, or you can use titanium backup itself to remove the application. So if we go to backup and restore, as it goes in, just locate the app. So it's alphabetically ordered. So let's have a look. Cut the rope. I think I've gone, but there it is. Cut the rope. So what we'll do is just tap it. Brings up a sub menu. So you've got backup, freeze, uninstall, wipe data, delete, um, run the application, or restore it. So you could, in fact, if you didn't want to backup all the apps that you have you could only back up key ones if you really wanted to one by one or you could set up a batch run in there so that it only does certain ones that you select it's really not that hard at all but if we want to uninstall all of it it's got a line through it so cut the rope doesn't exist anymore so if we come out of that go into my games folder whoops cut the rope isn't there now if we want to do a restore Go back into Titanium Backup, go to Backup and Restore again. As we remove to Cut the Rope, it's going to be right at the bottom of the list. So scroll all the way down, and there you go. You can see Cut the Rope, and it's got a line through it, meaning that it's no longer installed. So tap on it, just to go into the settings. And then what you can do is, Backup and Freeze and Uninstall obviously are greyed out because we uninstalled it. We can completely delete it, or we can restore the application. If we hit Restore, and it asks you, do you want to restore the application only, or the data and the application as well. Now because I want to restore the levels I've completed as well, we'll do app and data. So it says cut the rope 1.4. It won't take too long to do at all because it's only one application. So once that's done, it should throw it back. See that's done and you can see cut the rope at the bottom doesn't have a line through it anymore. Just symbolizing that it's back on the phone and as you saw there it's threw it back into the applications drawer it hasn't put it back into the folder that's the only niggle that I don't like within titanium backup it doesn't restore it to exactly the same location where it was before like me if you put it in folders it doesn't put it back it just throws it on the screen so if you go in to cut the rope it should we should be able to see all the various levels that um, we completed previously Play. Go back. Whoops, there we go. And there you go. All of it's there. All the levels are there as they were before. So that's how easily you can back up your applications and the data using Titanium Backup on the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and we'll see you next time.